Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3, the FES version, and you should have seen in um, a short clip before this video of us turning into bronze metal, because I actually um, was seeing a lot of those hands, so I had to turn it in, so I didn't keep getting bronze medals instead of Nile weapons, which are what we want. So, uh, also, some things, if I go to uh, her... And check her status. I found grenade launchers for her and a six shot. Now six shot is what we're gonna get for turning in whatever. Okay, you seem to have completed a request. I see you have the night rings with you. Four of them, just as I requested, thank you. I actually got a fifth one, too. I'm sure you're wondering why I requested this item. That's not what matters, though. What's important is that you defeated the Champion Knight. I'm thrilled to see you getting stronger. Please accept your reward. I barely defeated the last set. They used their... I didn't surprise them, and they used their Heat Wave ability, and it was nasty. It was so nasty. It killed two people. It was only me and... Me and, uh... Uh, I guess remaining. So we're done. Oh, we should register our personas. Now, uh, one of the things I also did was I actually found. Uh, Sati, um, I got Sati in a Persona draw. So, I should mark that off if I haven't already. She's a level 28 magician. I wonder if I can get the level 34 magician through fusion. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't. So now we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. Finally. So I don't need this list of personas anymore. I need my social list. Okay. So, crazy stuff we're gonna do today. It's Sunday. So we can go, we can watch Tanaka show. Hello everyone, welcome to the home shopping show, Tanaka's amazing commodities. Blah, 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 touch that dial. Item of the day, Omega Sphere. Five veggie supplements, 2480. Wow. 24,800. And we have a lot. So, yes. Okay, we're not going to be doing a lot of stuff uh, anytime soon. 
So, we can just go run around. So let's just go run around. First thing I want to do is check the guy who's the, the guy at the police station who sells stuff for us. We have a social link to do today, but and actually we have the beginning of a a different social link too. Why did I go to the wrong place? We didn't know vertical sandwich! I know, right? Fine. Polonium Mall. That's where I want to go. You know. Because it's during the day, so I can go there. Now, I believe since our vacation is over, I got some new things to take a look. So, for armor, we can buy all of the the outfits so like a bathing suit for and these are these are great um these are great items but they're super expensive so not so much right now for weapons oh the dark slayer is kind of cool Oh, it's two-handed sword. The one-handed sword is actually a downgrade for us. It would be an upgrade for, uh... It would be an upgrade for Mitsuru. But we don't need it. I just wanted to make sure we could buy the bathing suits. We will be buying them at some point. Because they're an outfit change item. Hey, it's Yukari. Summer school starts tomorrow. I'm going to use what little time I've got left for fun. Uh, okay. Great. You do that. We're going to go to the Nagaraki Shrine and uh, initiate a social link that we won't start for a while. And I'm going to try to make up a voice for this guy. That's better than the first voice I made up for him. Alright, so here's Striped Shirt Guy. Thin young man. Your eyes are so clear. Your soul must be burning brightly. The young man must be intrigued by you because of your impressive academics. <laughs> the me that I see reflected in your eyes, the real me, if there is such a thing, how far apart are they? And almost zero is the answer you have to get. Hmm, that works. And he's happy for some reason. Your words are very beautiful. If I had something to write with, I'd write them down. I have a fountain pen. It uses red ink. Blood red. My pen is my supporter. My spokesman and my friend, however, it seems to have disappeared. Without it, my screams are silenced. This is gonna blow my voice right out too. If I have to do him and the monk at the same day, because I'm doing the opposite. I'm doing gravelly and then just kind of sliding out of the throat. Like it's breathless. Okay, apparently his fountain pen is missing. Talk to him again. I'm looking for my fountain pen. Please tell me if you find it. Perhaps the creature with white fur and bright red eyes kidnapped it. And apparently it's, yeah. Uh, Korumaru took it. <laughs> like... All right, time to go talk to Macho Man Randy Savage. All right, I believe, right? Fountain pen, almost zero, star first meeting, Omega Spear. That's everything we have to do today. So here he is. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Let's go eat. Sure. Let's see who can eat faster. The loser has to run a hundred laps around the city. Ready? And he's full of confidence. But you have the courage to face him. So that's what we need. We need the courage here to so we accept his challenge. I actually think we only have to have like level four courage. Munch munch gulp. <laughs> okay, Mamoru is eating ta ta takayaki at an extremely fast pace. 
This seems like a good opportunity for an eating competition, because the Japanese are crazy for that. What is your eating strategy? Swallow the Takiyaki whole or eat it before it cools. I like either way he's gonna call out your strategy and copy it. So um, we're gonna do the swallow the uh, Takiyaki hole. That's the lightning swallow technique. Oh yeah, daunting but quick. Gulp, gulp, yum. Gulp. <laughs> All right, Mamori, Mamoru begins to forego chewing as well. You and Mamoru finish your meals at the same time. Ooh, looks like a tie. I'm impressed, vertical. Not many people can match my speed. And uh, I'm gonna say I thought I could win. Is that so? Well, I wasn't really trying my hardest anyway. And he seems impressed. You will let a guts challenge me at Takayaki! No, I'm impressed. You have a lot of potential! And he recognizes my potential. Star athlete Mamoru Hayashi has become an acquaintance. Boom! Oh yeah! Thou shalt have our blessing when thou chooses to create a persona of the Star Arcana. Alright, new social like Star. In my opinion, a tie might as well be a loss, you know. As promised, I'm gonna start my laps around the city. You can do whatever you think is best. You put up a good fight today. See you around. And Avi runs. And we don't do laps. We decide to go back to the tour. Alright. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Okay, I was just talking to everyone about what to do with Korumaru. It's about his exercise. Could you take him out for a walk at night if he seems to need one? Yeah, so you can walk at night with him and other people. He'll be sitting right here and waiting for you. So tonight we can't do that. However, he's up on the second floor and he has that fountain pen. So... You spot something under Koromaru's paw. Would you like to pick it up? Yes. Arf, arf. <laughs> it's a red fountain pen. There we go. So that mystery is solved. Now when we go back on a Sunday, we can uh, social link the the thin young man and everything will be fine. Okay. I'm going to save and go through summer school and then we'll be probably, yeah, then we'll, we'll have to, I have to remember to save. Alright, oh, summer school is going to take forever. That's right. So now we actually can go do Tower Arcana with a Tower Persona, but we're already at level 8, so it doesn't really matter. We're still going to end up spending time. Yeah, so Tower, blah, blah. Spend some time with him, spend time with him. And this is only a spend time one, so our next one should hopefully get us to level 9. Okay, and we'll study and go to sleep. And now, summer school, there's no social activity during summer school. It actually will literally just take us through summer school every day. All I'm going to have to do is read um, uh, the the crazy explanations of the tarot that happened. But they're going to take forever. So, yeah. 
so here we go. Summer school begins today. And we better get going. Okay, it's the first day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Academics increase, and the day advances. Not even kidding. Okay, here we go. It's the second day of summer school. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through class. Hocus for focus pocus. You must all be very curious students to be taking this course over the summer. He's not really sure what to make of it. <laughs> but let's talk about something interesting today. All of you future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards are often used in fortune telling. Originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. A variety of different versions of tarot cards card decks exist, including the Marseille and Rider decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also called, sometimes called pips. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces. Beginning with the fool, and the ending with the world. They tell a story in numerical order that is a metaphor of an individual's journey through life. Every major arcana represents a stage of that journey, an experience that the individual must incorporate to realize his oneness. They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. Yeah, he's going to do this. The first card, numbered zero, is the Fool. It represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also maturity. The Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents motherhood and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fathering. It relates to leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It stands for religion. The Lover's card represents choice. Here the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. The Chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentary one. Justice represents the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. The Hermit represents the individual's search for a third by looking inward, deep inside his heart. Fortune represents fate and with the opportunities that come with it. Strength represents both passion and self-control and is depicted as power with reason. The Hanged Man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the 13th card, which is the aptly named Death. This is considered a transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now let us continue along the path following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites. Opening his eyes to the world allows the individual to grow. And as the devil represents, he then faces temptation. And the ta at the tower, his values collapse on him. It seems as if he no longer has anything to believe in, but... He then finds a glimmer of hope represented by the star. It is suffused with a serene calm. This bliss makes him vulnerable to the illusions of the moon. Fear arises and he follows the dim path in his heart with trepidation. But he is rewarded with a bright future represented by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the end of his journey as he looks back at the path he has traveled. The final card is the world, which represents the individual's full awareness of his place in the world. This is the growth of an individual as explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all of this life talk about life doesn't it know with you young folks just yet. <laughs> now you can use all 78 cards to divide the future in detail. But most people only use the 22 major arcana. Okay, next let's talk about how to tell fortunes using the major arcana. First you will need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change, so it's important. Class continues. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Wow, we made it through that.
quicker than I thought, actually. I'm running long. I got to get through these days. It's the third day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Academics increased. And then we go to day four. It's going to be another talk like that, so... Oh, it's not. Okay, so you know what? Let's actually let's shut it down, and when we come back, uh, the rest of summer school. Bye, everybody.